Hi, this is Farrell, and this is the next, uh, I guess, installment or <laughs> just another video of me uh, painting in one of my comics. It's um, I'm working in, uh, on this comic called Robot Todd. And I just started it, really. Where I started it like a couple years ago, and I did like a page and a pencil to cover, and uh, I think I penciled this page, this spread that we're working on here. And this is a, a Strathmore sketchbook. It's the 500 series mixed media paper and uh, I, I just I saw there was a description in the back and uh, so this right here is the first spread and I did this yeah like pre-pandemic it was a couple years ago I think when I was working on Proxima Centauri and uh, I did it on the same paper but I had a it was like a, a fold out so I taped them I cut them out of the sketchbook and taped them together and uh, yeah this is just the first couple pages it's um, I'm doing them on just one side rather than using both sides and I'm cutting them out. I just, I kind of like having them all set up in the sketchbook first. I have, um, I don't know if you saw in the, uh, video when I did the shot of my desk and everything, there was a, another sketchbook where I have, I'm thumbnailing it out as I go and I'm writing it in like text document. <laughs> so that was a thumbs up, I guess, cause I'm, uh, getting ready to start on this. I think there's a bit of futzing with the camera first. So I kind of spliced, spliced it up too, cause it was going on a little too long and um, actually did it in real time. And then I sped it up a little bit, but um, yeah, this is just watercolor and a little bit of gouache on this mixed media Strathmore paper. I don't know what the actual weight is, but uh, I'll, I'll throw the link in the description again uh, to, you can get it from Dick Blick or wherever you want, but um, that's a link that I'll have to it. And yeah, here I'm just kind of mixing up whatever was left on that little palette plate. <laughs> I think there was some like white gouache or, uh, yeah, I'm assuming it was white, white gouache on there with a little bit of blue. Um, I don't know, like that's cerulean blue or what, and a little bit of yellow. And I was just kind of diluted a little bit and I was like, oh, that makes it kind of like a nice background to the floor and I usually kind of work in little segments like that like just to keep everything straight like I'm realize it's probably I'm not probably going to leave those white those pillars white but I, I color them kind of later on putting in the background first to get sort of like a tone and then um, you know it's like okay I want these pillars to be a little lighter I don't want it to be super dark and shadowy because there's like this wizard guys firing off this electrical bolt thing, which I wasn't going into this. I wasn't exactly sure which color I wanted that to be and which color I had an idea of the wizard. Cause I had a, a drawing of him in my book delusional or a, a, a drawing of a, a type of wizard that inhabits this world. I guess it's uh, the two wizards in this. They're bad, bad guys of a sort, I guess. And uh, I haven't really, 100% uh, figured out what <laughs> their deal is yet, but um, I have like the whole comic plotted. It just, I think it's going to be kind of like an ongoing uh, bad guy. So that what happens actually in the story is this, this wizard gets killed right here, sort of like Wizard of Oz where it's like Wicked Witch of the West or something. The house, you know, Dorothy's house falls on her and she dies and then the one from the east wants to, and those are like the bad ones, and the north and the south are good. So I, I kind of just with that sort of loose idea thought like, okay, these, yeah, these east and west wizards, they're like bad, like the witches in Wizard of Oz. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm just here. I'm just, I, I like I said, I this is like watercolor and gouache, but I think when I started doing the weird crow, type birds, um, it's sort of a mashup. I, I kind of gave them the stellar J little crest on their head, but they're kind of more, look more like crows cause they're all black. I don't think, I think stellar's J's are always like that blue and black pattern, but, uh, I'm not a bird expert or anything. It's just what I've observed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, uh, I, I think after doing this background and getting those stuff in the window, the little birds kind of sitting on the little ridge there of the window. 
I did those in ink. I, I used this, the Dr. Martin's Black Star ink, and um, I think I had brought this palette, this this uh, watercolor palette, into my friend's studio, and I had must have mixed some like oil paint in there or something, because there was some really uh, kind of foul smell <laughs> of it. Uh, it was kind of grossing me out. I was working on this. Um, uh, like it had kind of like a paint thinner smell, but I kept thinking like something was on fire or something it's weird. Um, I hope there's not like a some kind of gas leak or something in my house here. But um, yeah, here we I switched just doing like a time lapse. I was uh, I started this off in real time. Where I was like, oh, let's get this done in like ten minutes. But I was like, oh no, this is actually a little more involved than I thought going into it. And uh, yeah, I just kind of switched to this time lapse so it'll go along a little quicker here and I'm gonna try to keep doing these videos just as I work on this just like a panel a day pretty much um, this isn't like a paying gig but I want to start posting on my patreon again and I still have a Kickstarter to get ready for that was supposed to be in four days but uh, it's probably not <laughs> gonna happen now uh, but I got a, a computer that works better now so I'm gonna start getting on putting the books together and stuff and I'll figure it all off details soon and this these birds kind of got a little muddy for me I, I wasn't super stoked about it but um I was kind of just I couldn't even read what I had penciled I think I just kind of sloppily penciled them in, them in there and they got kind of a little mushy but um here I'm going in with ink to try to like define it and get the little contrast up and kind of up close it doesn't look as bad as it does I guess from like this distance it just sort of looks like a mushy ink line <laughs> um, all right so I think that's uh, that's the for today this is it so <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna try to do one of these every day but we'll see if I can get it together for tomorrow so thanks for watching um, check out my Instagram if you want or my patreon I put links in the description if you want to check it out okay bye